the car charger is working even though the engine is not running so if you forget your charger connected it might drain the battery so this is how to hack it we need to open the fuse box so we can remove this is the air ventilation and open the fuse box so here in the fuse box I'm looking for my aux aux power one it's number 20, uh, 51 number 51 so find it here 51 this is the position which will relate to this yellow fuse this is the second row from the bottom and the third one from this direction so this is the fuse so now if I remove this fuse the charger after removing the fuse is not working now we come back to the fuse box and we need to figure out which side of the fuse is connected to the aux and which one is connected to the battery so one side is connected to the device and one side will be connected to the red to the positive side of the battery so we'll have to insert a wire on one side and connect it to the positive side of the battery if the device works then that is the size side we're looking at or looking for here I have inserted a wire on one side I'm gonna connect to the positive side of the battery and check the device nothing is happening it's not opening so that is not the correct side next I'll connect it to the other side of the fuse okay I have connected it to the other side now and connect the other side of the wire to the positive side and I can see the device is working so this is the correct side just connected to the aux or the cigarette uh, lighter outlet which we are going to use if you have a multimeter then it's uh, easier of course to detect which side is connected to the battery and which side is connected to the uh, device or aux so we take one probe insert it on one side and this time we have to connect it to the negative side of the battery we connect this side to the negative and we have no reading or very very little reading then connect it to the other side and we can see there we have 12 volt so we know that this side is connected to the battery and the other side is connected to the device so now that we have identified the side that is connected to the aux which is the left side in this case I've inserted a wire in there I've inserted an all the fuse that I have a band out fuse or a half fuse I have to emphasize on that one you cannot insert a good fuse otherwise the whole process is useless and I'll put the fuse here just to secure the wire so it will not be uh, loose now we have to find one of those uh, empty spots uh, which is actually connected to the uh, key and the starter or the ignition so I'm just gonna choose randomly Again, with a multimeter, this is going to be much easier. Without a multimeter, it will be just a trial and error. have to experiment on it a few times until you find a suitable one. So I'm going to do the multimeter way and the easy way. And uh, with that, you will understand how to do it even without a multimeter. So this is the setup. I've put the multimeter here so you can see. I've connected the black one, the black probe of the multimeter to the black side of the battery which is the negative side as we know all these fuses 
one side is connected to the device and the other side is connected to the positive side of the battery the red side the positive side so to close the circuit we use the negative side of the battery with one side of the fuse to find out uh, if the fuse is connected to the key or directly connected to the battery so I'm going to choose for example this this one here or let's take this one here and now with the bat with the key switch in off position I'm not getting a reading here so my chances are that this is a good fuse connection but just for demonstration all right this is it for demonstration if we can see this fuse here or this empty connection when I connected the left side it's giving me a reading of 12 volt even though the key switch is off so this is the same as the original aux uh, fuse it is live all the time which is not good for us so I'm gonna come back to this one here so I can see this one here I put this side and the other side both of them are not giving me any reading so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the key to on and come back and check on this one so now we come back to the same one here so one side okay this side is giving me 12 volt this side should give me zero and it does give me zero so I know that this position is good for me to connect it to the aux so that the uh, charger will only work when the switch is in the on position so I'm gonna put the wire the other side of the wire that we've taken from the original aux position I'm gonna put it not in the uh, battery side on the other empty side and then connect it with a good fuse which is the original fuse that we took from the uh, aux place that way it is still connected to a fuse in case something goes wrong the fuse will get blown out okay so here I've put the uh, inserted the wire and now I'm gonna insert the fuse so this is it we've taken a wire out of the aux side secured it with an old fused burned out fuse and connected it to an empty spot this used to be an empty spot to the dead side not to the battery side and then connected it with the same fuse that used to be here to the battery side okay so we're back in the car now and the battery switch is off we can see the charger is not working put the switch on and the charger is working it's off. and that's it very easy hack